So I'm going to take you through Citrix app layering and how to create a new version of an operating system layer and also a new version of an application layer and show you how easy it is to do this and also the steps you would need to go through to achieve the new layer. So firstly, you can see here, we drop into the layers screen of ELM and then OS layers, click the layer you want and then add a version. Type in a new version number, pick the size for your operating system layer. And this is where you choose your connector. So the connector will link the ELM to your hypervisor of choice. If we edit that Zen server connector here, you can see the Zen server address and the template that we want to use to create the layer. Give the packaging disk a name and then hit create layer. So what this is going to do is going to take the operating system layer from the ELM hard drive, replicate it and build you a virtual machine on your hypervisor ready to install. And then you'll log on as normal and install or change the operating system as you see fit. So that's done. You can see the ELM has built a new operating system for us. You can see the disk name there. And the ELM is saying that that operating system requires action. What that means is logging into the uh, operating system and making any changes you want. This can be patching the OS or installing software onto the operating system layer. So for this example, rather than install software, I'm just going to create a new, info, a new folder on the operating system which you'll see later on when we uh, create a new application layer. Once finished, there's an icon on the desktop that says shut down for finalize. If you click that, the Unidesk agent on the operating system will shut down the server. Then you switch back to ELM, click on the operating system and then click finalize. What this is now doing is it's taking all of the changes you've made to that operating system and generating a new layer and pulling it back from your hypervisor into ELM. So now that's complete. If we switch back to the hypervisor, you can see it's removed the machine that it used to uh, present you with your options to change the operating system. So to deploy that, we go into templates, pick the template we want, and we can change the operating system version from version one to version 1.1. And then to push that new OS image out, we would just click publish layered image and then create the image. And that would then use our new OS layer. So moving on to application layers, the process is very similar. You go into the app layers part, click the application layer that you want to edit and then hit add new version. Same as the OS layer, you give the version a name. In this instance, we're picking the operating system layer that we want to base our application on. So we're going to use our new version 1.1. Click the same connector. And then hit create layer. So again, what ELM is doing now is it's taking the operating system layer and the application layer and it's pushing them out to your hypervisor so that you again have a base machine that you can log into and install your applications. So you can see now ELM is telling us that action is required. You can see your new VM is available with your OS and your app layer disk attached. So we can log into this machine.
and then make any updates we need to the operating system or sorry the applications as you can see the folder we created in the OS layer is there so it is indeed using that new operating system layer version 1.1 that we created so we're going to just create another folder for the application shut these down and then hit click to finalize what you can see here now is the ELM agent has picked up that there's a run once command outstanding so what you need to do is restart the operating system if that happens sometimes when you if, you, if you're making quite a small change to a application layer if you log on to the server itself and then quickly make the change and try and shut it down straight away the um, app layer agent takes a little while to settle down so if you wait sort of two or three minutes then um, it will allow you to run that uh, click shut down to finalize so that's now restarted we'll log back into that and we'll click the shutdown to finalize and as you can see there's no run once tasks anymore so that's shutting down the server ready for us to hand back over to ELM to finalize that application layer so we can switch back to ELM click on the app layer click on finalize and finalize that layer that's now connecting to your VM pulling in any changes to the application and creating a new version of the app layer with all your changes you can see the percentage by clicking the eye next to the task it will show you how far it's run through so you can see there that's now finished if we switch to the hypervisor, you can also see, again, it's cleaned up that machine, so it's not going to leave a bunch of machines kicking around with redundant layers in. So now we'll edit our template. See the OS layer that we choose, chose earlier. If we expand the app layer, we can see our new version there. Click through the rest of the wizard, click Save Template, and then you can publish the image. 